Hello Detroit Prep, this is Miss Anna all the way from Tucson, Arizona. I miss you so much. So I wanted to read you a story tonight. This is called Under the Quilt of Nights. And it is about the Underground Railroad. If you remember when we learned about the Underground Railroad, you can do a silent agree sign. Under the Quilt of Nights. running. I am young, but my legs are strong. I can run. I run so fast. I lead the way. The ones I love race behind, pounding dirt and grass, jumping rocks and roots. My feet make drum beats on the path. I'm running far away from the farm where the master worked us and hoeing and picking, mending and snowing, sewing, till my hands got raw. Now he wants to track me, catch me, chase me till my breath is gone, fence me in to be a slave again but I'll make my steps quick, whispers in the dark. I'll run where he won't find me, under the quilt of night. A river. We search long to find the little boat hidden in the reeds. Is it safe to go over? The water's deep and fast, but we cross without a sound like the moon coming up over my shoulder to float across the sky. Waiting. Runaways like us must hide in the daylight. So come morning, we crouch in the bushes till night. It's hot, sweat dribbles down my neck, thorns rake my arms and legs. In the still afternoon, mosquitoes whine and tease, just like the overseer's children did. All I can do is wait for the cover of darkness. Oh, if only I could dance into the open and sing so loud, the stars would hear and hurry out to guide our way. watching. We run and hide. My cuts sting. My bites itch. I'm hungry all the time. One day at dusk, we make our way to a patch of woods at the edge of a town. There are more houses here. People, roads, danger. The others rest while I keep watch for a sign from the Underground Railroad the friends who will help us get free. Wee, 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 an owl trills softly. I stop my breath to listen. Is it really an owl or the railroad's secret code, a sign that a friend is near? No, there he is, just a small fat bird with round yellow moons for eyes. I try to be an owl myself, but my eyes hurt with watching. Then I see a woman walk through her yard wearing a plain dress. On her arm, she carries a quilt to the air. She hangs it over the fence, then looks to the woods just once. I stare with all my might. I know what to look for. In the quilts, the center squares are red for home and hearth but these centers are dark, deep blue. This house hides runaways. Remember that there are clues in the quilts that the people who are seeking freedom use. So that's what they're looking for. I'm brave enough to go forward first when at last the stars are up. 
I pull the darkness around me and run through the long wet grass. My foot trembles on the wooden step and my knees er, and my knock is shivery and quick. Like the beating of my heart. Who's there? Comes a little voice. I swallow hard before I give the password. What if I am wrong? But I trust the quilt, so I say, the friend of a friend. Hiding. A man and a woman let us in. They give us clean clothes, hot stew, and biscuits and sweet cherry pie. We talk in whispers, so we don't wake the other little boys already tucked in bed. Their daughter, just my age, lets me hold her kitten. We follow her lantern up narrow stairs to a secret room. Sleep now. Tonight, we'll keep watch, she says. We have a visitor. I lie awake wondering about others who have hidden here. I won't ever know their names, but I find a message, a rough carved place in the wood under my mat. I make my fingers into eyes to explore it. Just before I fall asleep, I see that it is a star. traveling. Wake up, hurry. Your master and his men are close behind. Our friend whisks us through the last folds of night and hides us deep in his wagon. The cold boards make me shiver. Straw pricks my skin like needles. We go north across the bridge under trees, a zigzag of here and there. We can't turn back. We would be beaten, sold away. Our chances gone for good. We must go on. I hang on tight. Fear is so real. It lies here beside me. The wagon rattles. Horses clomp. Suddenly, I tremble. Voices were caught. We're looking for runaways. What's in your wagon? Barks a voice. Eggs, sacks of grain, vegetables to sell at morning market, says our driver, smooth as honey. Search me if you'd like. I'm no friend of the slave. I keep still as a rock, though it feels like my heart will split. But the searchers are fooled, and at last they gallop off. Our friend laughs and cracks the reins. He calls to his horses, giddy up hope and liberty and the wagon rolls on. Singing. Birds wake, a rooster calls. I listen to night softly falling away. We stop at a little church deep in a piney wood. I pick the straw from my hair and rub my stiff, cramped legs. Our friend takes a stick and draws a map in the dirt of the road we'll take to Canada. These good folks will carry you on, he says. You're almost to freedom now. Over the trees, the sun comes up. The dark pines glow like gold. Freedom! I take a deep breath and when I let go, my voice flies up in a song, my own song, of running in sunshine and dancing through the fields. I'll jump every fence in my way. Thanks for joining me for story time. I hope you enjoyed it.